Hey guys, it's Lon Measley. In this video, I'm gonna go over 9 different ways to make gold and relive your nostalgia of Draenor. Even though some of these gold making methods may not be the most time efficient, I personally like having some fun by adding variety into my gold making. First, we have Tanan Jungle Toy Drops. On the easternmost side of Tanan Jungle, there are 3 named elites that you can kill once a day which have a pretty high chance of dropping one toy each. These toys are not soulbound, so you can actually sell them on the auction house. The first elite is Gondar, and you can find him in this building right here. These bosses also drop garrison resources, which you can cash in at the trading post if you have one. The next elite is Smash and Grab, and you can find him at this altar right here. Finally, head up north to find the last elite, Dracoom. You can fly directly into the second floor of the building here. The three toys that these guys drop are these crashing thrashing toys that when used spawns like a mini tank or something that you can battle other players with. Again, you can learn them yourself or you can sell them on the auction house for some pretty nice profits. Now for the second method, I'm going to talk about these other elites that you can find in Tanan Jungle. Every half an hour to an hour or so, one of these bosses will spawn, and they will be clearly marked on your map. The four bosses are Vengeance, Doom Roller, Death Talon, and Terror Fist. I suggest getting the add-on Handy Notes with Draenor Treasures so that you can pinpoint the spawn locations of these bosses. Now these bosses have a pretty decent chance of dropping the Medallion of the Legion, which gives reputation to Draenor factions. It's also a pretty hot seller on the auction house. The bosses also all have a chance of dropping one of three mounts. The drop rate is pretty high, but you can't sell these on the auction house. Also, you can get duplicate mount drops, so it may take a while to collect all three. The three mounts are the Warsong Dire Fang, Tundra Ice Hoof, and Armored Razorback. For method number 3, we have Fang Rilla. It's like a mini paradise for these cat people, who you can kill for their claws. You can find Fang Rilla on the southeastern side of Tanan Jungle. By killing the Black Fang, you gain reputation with the Saber Stalkers, and also collect claws. Provided that you have the appropriate reputation level, you can buy different items from the Saber Stalkers with these claws. For gold making, you want to be buying the Savage Cub Pet, which costs 1,500 claws. You can then cage this pet to sell on the auction house. To gain reputation quickly, you can pick up the challenge totems to do the weekly quest. At number 4, we have the Tanan Jungle Elite Pets. These are tough pet battles that are scattered throughout Tanan Jungle. For each one you defeat, you will get a satchel that has a chance of containing valuable pets. Now these fights are not easy. For each of these battles, you will be pitted against 3 pets, with the first one being the boss and the other two as random fillers. The Anubiseth Idol is a strong pet that can be used to finish off the two random pets. The Nexus Whelpling is excellent for fighting against flying pets. And finally, the Zandalari Ankle Render has the potential to single-handedly defeat most of the bosses. Asmongold has done a guide a long time ago on how to defeat each of these bosses. The link will be in the description below. Let's look at the pets that can drop from this. You have the Nightmare Bell, Periwinkle, Calf, Zangar Spore, and Seaborn Spore. These are all pretty valuable, last I checked with the Nightmare Bell standing out especially. For my fifth gold making method, we're finally going to be leaving Tanan Jungle. At Western Frostfire Ridge, there's a named elite called Nock Garage. He has a very short respawn timer and can be killed once a day for the Garn Night Howl epic mount. Now he still hits pretty hard as a Legion, so be careful when engaging him. You can AoE down the elite wolves first, then finish him off. Since the Garn Night Howl mount is a guaranteed drop, 
I like to include this in my daily gold making routine as I'm checking my garrison. Again, this mount is not soulbound, so you can sell it on the auction house. Method number 6 is using the barn in your garrison. With a level 3 barn, you can trap elite wolves and talbucks to queue work orders for sumptuous fur and savage blood. Both of these mats are highly sought after, even in Legion. Sumptuous fur is used to craft hexweave bags, which are still the biggest craftable bags. Savage blood can be traded in at the trading posts for about 50 gold each. They are also used in the Draenor Tome of Illusions crafted by enchanters. What I like to do as Horde is to farm the elite wolves while I'm killing Not Garage. Now you don't actually have to kill the wolves, instead you use the deadly iron trap provided by the barn to trap them at around half health. For the Alliance, you can farm Talbucks in Shadowmoon Valley, or you can farm the Elite Wolves in Nagrand. The level 3 barn has a capacity of 21 work orders, which can be completed in 3 days. How you want to farm these caged beasts is up to you. I prefer farming up 20 or so cages every 3 days, while some people like farming up a whole bunch of cages then just coming back to refresh their work orders. Like all of the other production buildings, the barn also has a specified follower that you can increase your production with. The follower I'm talking about is Goldmane the Skinner, who comes with the skinning trait. To make full use of him, make sure to level him to level 100. For both factions, you can pick this guy up by doing the quest Feline Friends Forever in Nagrand. At number 7, we're going to be going to Shadow Moon Valley. There's a name delete here called Demidos who drops the battle pet Servant of Demidos. As with all the other rare spawns, you can only loot him once a day. The pet itself has about a 15% drop rate. By the way, this clip was filmed during Warlords of Draenor, which is why you see me using Realm Hop. The fight is also much easier now at level 110. As this pet is also a very strong battle pet, you can consider leveling him up to level 25, then turning him into a rare before you sell him. I like how Blizzard has put Demidos in Shadowmoon Valley close to the Alliance, while Nock Garage is close to the Horde Garrison. Next up, we have High Mall Pet Drops. Note that you don't actually have to go into the raid, just go to the outdoor High Mall zone on the west side of Nagrand. Now you'll probably need to have flying to be able to reach this place. There are three named elites here that each drop a pet. The first one is Pug. Again, these are soloable very easily with level 110. Okay, so I got the Warm Arcane Crystal here, which is one of the pets. Next, I'm gonna fly to the west to find Ruck Dug. He's inside this little building here. These pets have roughly an 8 to 9% drop rate. And I've seen them fetch for up to 10,000 gold on the auction house on my server. Like the three orc elites in Tanan jungle, these three ogres also drop garrison resources. For the last guy, Guk, I'm gonna fly further south, and he will be in another one of these small huts. As I've mentioned before, you can download the Handy Notes add-on with the Draenor Treasures extension to easily find these rare elites. Now my ninth and last goal making method here is none other than the Garrison. A level 3 garrison can be extremely lucrative, and with some proper setup, can become a relatively passive way to make gold. The main gist behind this is to collect garrison resources that you can trade in at the trading post for crafting materials, which you can then turn into other stuff such as hexleaf bags. I've also done a very comprehensive guide on the garrison, so check it out if you're interested. You can do so by clicking on the link right here. And that was 9 fun ways of making gold on Draenor. Feel free to comment below if you have any other methods and ideas to share. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. Like, comment, and subscribe if you did. And happy gold making. Peace out.